Execution conditions for build steps is a powerful new feature in TeamCity 2020.1. Conditional build steps allow you to control whether or not a step is executed depending on the environment and the parameters of every build run. First, let's navigate into a build step and select advanced options for that step. A set of common use cases is provided. For example, we may choose to run a step only in the default branch. You can add more than one condition the step will only execute if all of the conditions are satisfied in the current build run. Let's take a look at a more advanced use case. This new feature shines if you combine it with other powerful features of TeamCity, for example, custom parameters for builds. Let's imagine you want to run a step only in a production environment. First, let's create an environment parameter with three selectable items, QA, staging, or production, and we want to set the display to prompt so that it pops up when we run our builds. Now that we've created our environment parameter, we're going to navigate back into the build step, uh, and we're going to add a custom execution condition for a production-only step based on that environment parameter. TeamCity will suggest available options. In this example, we'll specify that the environment must be equal to production in order for the step to execute. Each time you trigger a custom run of this build, TeamCity will prompt you to select the environment. If you choose anything other than production, the production deployment step, which we added the execution condition to, will end up getting skipped. Let's run a build with the environment specified as staging. When we run the build, we can see evidence of the skip step if we navigate into the build log. Try taking advantage of conditional build steps in your own Team City build configurations. If you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to our technical support team. Happy building!